powder. Two eggs. And some cane sugar. And lastly, natural unsweetened cocoa powder. The first step you'll need to do is take one half stick of butter, chop it into little pieces, and double boil or... <laughs> Once you melted and mixed your butter, you're going to add one cup of sugar. Once you stir the butter and sugar, you're going to want to let it cool down because you don't want to scramble your eggs. So while that's cooling down, set your oven to 350. Don't forget to crack the two eggs. One third cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of all-purpose flour, and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder, and salt. Mix together and remember not to over mix. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I just want to eat it. <laughs> now, all you have to do is pour it into an 8 by 8 inch pan and put it in the oven. Put it on for 25 to 30 minutes. And make sure you don't overcook it. Now the best part is to make your brownie frosting. What you will need to do is have 3 tablespoons of butter and melt it in the microwave. Add three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Add one tablespoon of honey. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And one cup of powdered sugar. <laughs> and stir it all together. That's the brownie recipe! Ah, the brownies are done! Once your brownies have cooled off, cut a square or any shape you like. Add your fudge and enjoy your brownie. Thanks for watching this educational video with Sparkle Sauce. Hehehehe. <laughs>